Build It, Make It, Play It. Hello, hello. Welcome to Build It, Make It, Play It. I am just a teensy bit excited. I'm building Andrea's family house for you. I absolutely love this set. I have to say, I think this is probably my favorite Lego friends house for a long, 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 long time. And I knew that it was going to be the first set that I wanted to run out and buy on release date and I wanted to build for you. I can't wait to show you this house, it's so beautiful. And we have some new characters. We have our usuals, we have Andrea, of course, it's Andrea's family house. We have Stephanie in this one. This is a really weird one. We've got Stephanie. We have her dad, Martin. We have a beautiful, glamorous mother, Donna. And we have our first toddler. We have little tiny Liz. This is Andrea's baby sister. And she is so cute, so cute. I love it. Have I told you that? I love it. Let's get these bags out. Let's tip them out. There are nine bags, nine bags in total. So it's a big build and we have a big instruction manual here. So first up, we're gonna build the girls and we have Andrea in bright pink fuchsia boots and she has this gold crown motif on her t-shirt. She is beautiful. And in comes, weirdly, Stephanie. And Stephanie has a silver stripy top. She looks like she's off to a party. We'll see you later, girls. And first up, we are building the heart-shaped swimming pool. Now, what starlet wouldn't have a heart-shaped swimming pool? Yeah, it's kind of a given really, isn't it? You have to have one of these when you buy a house from a starlet. So we're topping it off with these bright yellow detailed pieces. And of course, we need to have a lilo, just so that Stephanie can turn up and lounge around in their pool unexpectedly. Very awkward. So first thing to build in the house is actually the dining room. So we're building up the floor of the dining room on these cream pieces and we're starting to build out the seats and the seats sit on these purple studs. And the seats are bright fuchsia pink. I love these. It's starting to look like a starlet's house already, isn't it? Nice and bright and zingy. And look at these teal arches, they're starting to make the dining room table. I would love a teal dining room table. And purple plates. Oh, it's looking so funky, I love it. And someone in this house likes strawberry cupcakes, maybe that's Liz. And here's some coffee cups. And I love these sandwiches, they are huge. They're obviously a very healthy family. There's lots of salad in these sandwiches, but they are massive, absolutely massive. Now I'm going to bring in Andrea, just so you can compare the size. It's the size of her head. Yum, 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 yum. Enjoy Andrea, good luck with that one. Whew, <laughs> huge sandwiches. Oh, this is, oh, this is little Liz. I love little Liz. She's so adorable. She's so cute. She has the same little body that came out in the book characters last year, but look at those bungees. They are to die for. She is the cutest character. I absolutely love her. And just bringing in Andrea as a size comparison, just so you can see how dinky she is. Oh, so cute. And we're just building out some walls in this dining room. And you can see on the side of the house, there's lots of nice brick detailing here. Building up those walls. And we have our first wall with our first sticker. And it has plates on. And on the outside, we have leaf detailing and little flowers, maybe a clematis or a clematis if you're in America. Make sure you get them on the right way. Plates on the inside, plants on the outside. And just building up that wall there. And this is going to be the front garden. So we have the first sneaky peek of our front garden. There's a lot of grass and a lot of flowers in this set, as you will see. Somebody in this house is very, very garden proud. I'm not complaining, it's beautiful. And this set has the most beautiful bay windows. And we're just starting to build out this bay window here. Let's top off this roof with these nice light blue blocks. And we're gonna add our first piece of artwork in. There's a songbird. There's lots of artwork in this house. 
Okay, so this is the bay window and you literally just pop these pieces of plastic in as the windows and position that, make sure you get it in the right place, otherwise it just won't work. They're three windows high and you get these lovely circular bay windows. I think they're beautiful, they're so modern looking. Now there's lots and lots of pink and purple detailing. Make sure you get this one in the right place. You have to have everything absolutely lined up before it goes on. There we go, finally. So yes, lots of pink and purple detailing around the roof line. That stud in the background, that's actually for the next character coming up. So it all will be revealed in a second. And go some more purple detailing pieces and some little curved purple details. Next up, we are building out the garage floor. Now the garage is a really important place for Andrea's family. It's where they do their band practice. There's lots and lots of musical artwork on the walls. It's a really important room for them. You will see why in a moment. And there we go, one garage floor. That's our next character. It's the pink bird that goes in that stud I mentioned. Next up, we're building out the kitchen. Now the kitchen is kind of like an insidey, outsidey kitchen. It moves on a hinge so you can move it in and out of the house. We have a black glossy oven and whoever this cupcake fan is, probably Liz, you need some cupcakes in the oven constantly for her. Chocolate and vanilla, there we go. And just building out that hob and the sink piece as well. There's a frying pan and a gold tap. Nice, very glossy. And you just clip it into place and you can open it and close it so you can get into that dining room table nice and easily. Now let's build out the front door. The front door has some glass panels either side and a pink and navy door with a star door handle. It needs to have a star door handle. And door steps there. And more flowers. Plenty and plenty of flowers in this house. We have these teal pillars. They are six high. They get a little bit wobbly as you get higher up and they do have a tendency to ping off. Whoops. <laughs> so be careful. And there we go. We secure it into place at the top and just strengthen up that door. And at the top of the door, we have the number in gold, of course, number 28. Beautiful. Now we're just building out the garage walls here and the kitchen wall. We're adding some purple tiles which is going to act as our utensil holder. So we add these clips in on top and make sure they're nice and straight. And they hold the whisk and the spoon. There we are, pop it in place. That's not the right place, move it over. There we go, otherwise you're scuppered for the next piece. So this is going to be their fridge. Actually, that's the freezer. There's the freezer and it's got the same ice lolly as in Livy's pop style house. Um, more musical artwork going on the back of the freezer. This is the fridge and you get to have a little milk carton. Look at that, how cute is that? In the fridge it goes and more musical artwork on the back of the fridge. So you can see that from the garage. Adding a little archway in here and a clock, a glittery clock. This next piece is, a, is an apron holder basically and it sits just inside that archway that you've just put in so you'll see the apron from the other side of the kitchen and it creates part of the kitchen wall. Moving up, we're just going to strengthen the top of that door. Again, more pink and purple detail pieces. Oh, wrong place. Look at this brick puller. I love it. It's teal coloured. It matches the colours of the set. They haven't given you just the box standard orange one. It's teal. I love it. Thank you, Lego. It's my favourite colour. Topping off those pillars with some little teal pieces. Now we're building out more of the garage wall here and I think this is a poster of Donna. I think this might be Andrea's mum who you're going to meet in a short while. Adding some purple clips that come in handy later on. I'm just building up that garage wall. Okay, here she is. 
Hey, this is Donna. I love Donna. This is Andrea's mother. Look at that beautiful hair. She's such a starlet. Look, she's even got gold shoes. She is gorgeous. Oh, up you come. <laughs> she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her. Okay, we are building out some more garage pieces. This is going to be the washing machine with a little detergent bottle on top. Lego just adding in the details there. Now, this is the side garden, the kind of back side garden here. We have another piece of artwork here. This is another record just to decorate that garage. Oh, more foliage, a little play, um, play ball. And we have these lovely teal arches here and the back door with a star door handle, of course. More garden pieces going in. And another teal arch. They will come into play in a minute. You'll see what they're for. And of course, we need more flowers. This house just needs loads and loads of flowers. Somebody does love their yellow and pink flowers. And we need a post box. Here we go. Oh, needs a letter inside. On goes number 28. A little bit wonky. Whoops, sorry. And we have a little mail indicator. Is there mail? Is there not mail? There we go. Pop it into place. And they need a little purple table for their cocktails, of course. There we go, on go the cocktails with straws, of course. All ready to enjoy next to their swimming pool. This is our last character. This is Martin, Andrea's dad, and he is so funky. He has gold glasses, and I think that might be a brown leather jacket. He gets the microphone. He's obviously another singer in the family. Okay, we're adding more foliage to the side of the house, and this is the start of a grapevine. Going back to the garage, what garage wouldn't be complete without a keyboard? There we go. Now, we can't have a band without a drummer. Every band needs a drummer, so we're building out the bass, drum and cymbals here. And there's the front of the bass drum with a sticker. Make sure you get this on the right way. <laughs> it's not the right way. Take it off, there we go, awesome. And on go the cymbal stands and the cymbals, pop them up. There we go, all ready to play. Ready for the band practice. Oh yeah, those clips. I think that's a bar heater, just to keep them warm whilst they're doing band practice. Right, so these grooves on these blocks, make sure they go on the inside. It's so important for the next phase of the build. We are building out the roller garage door. Now they, they really simply clip into place. They click, click, click into place and you make a wiggly garage door. So my next demonstration is not how to do this. Do not do it like this. You will fail miserably as I did many, many, many times before I realized how to do it. Okay, this is actually how you do it. You grab your garage door, you grab your guiding pieces, put it on both sides and clip it into place as quickly as possible. There we are, a working roller door. Yay, without the frustration. Adding more foliage and garage wall pieces. And this is beautiful. This is a piece of artwork of all of the five girls. I love it. Andrea thinking about her friends as she's practicing in her garage. And the garage roof goes on. Again, bright pink. And we're moving up and just finishing off that garage roof detailing. Now these studs, these cream studs, are going to hold on the first floor, which is coming up next and on go the first of our navy roof tiles. There we go. This is going to be our grapevine. I love this detail, it's very cute. And look, here comes the little bunch of grapes. So cute. And you just hold that into place with that piece of foliage. There we are, one grapevine. Hold it all into place with, again, pink and purple detail pieces. 
Now we need more flowers. Of course we need more flowers. Here they come, yellow flowers. And just pop those onto those flower stalks. And we have three sets of these and just clip them onto those purple studs. There we go. Right, we are starting to build out the upstairs. And this first piece is going to be the living room. Here we go, another wall piece with the family's entertainment system. And on the outside, we have more climbing flowers. And just building out that wall just a little bit more. Okay, make sure you build the bay window in the right way. Okay, and more flowers, more flowers on the bay window, just to be consistent with the bay window downstairs. And we have more of these curved bay window pieces. Now I've already clipped the glass pieces already in. You don't want to see me doing lots and lots of those. You know how to do it. This is going to be the roof for the bay window with those navy blue tiles. There we are, and pop it into place. One bay window. So this is going to be the bay window seat. I love a comfy window seat. There we go, pop it into place. And we're just building up the wall that goes next to the living room. Make sure you build those pieces properly. I didn't to begin with and was a bit scuppered a bit later on, so make sure they overhang. Follow the instructions. Here we go, and there's a little star detail that's just gonna sit above the front door, I believe. And there are more of these teal pillars. These aren't quite as high as the ones downstairs, so they don't get quite so wobbly. On goes an archway and another pillar. Okay, so these little windows, they have these iridescent window pieces. Make sure that the wider piece of window frame goes on the inside. Thinner piece of window frame on the outside, a thicker one on the inside, and just build that wall up. Ooh, we have a lever. I wonder what that's for. Ah, and a blue and a red piece. Could it be something to do with the bathroom? On goes a circular window. It's very similar to Stephanie's house with all these glass details, these circular glass details. With a little arch over the top. There we go. And just building out that wall just that little bit more. Okay, we're on to the living room and we're going to build a coffee table. With gold legs, of course. And on the coffee table we have a little mobile phone and a coffee cup. Next, we're building a lamp stand. Now make sure you don't build it in situ, you won't be able to do it. Do it outside the model. And we have the start of our sofa. Now this sofa is awesome. Lego have got a little bit of a sense of humor. I shall show you why. You see that little coin there? That's that money that keeps dropping out of your pocket and gets stuck behind the sofa. You won't even know it's there unless you're the person who's built the model. I love it. Lego with a sense of humor. Awesome. Look, it's gone. Where's it gone? No one's gonna find that now. And there's a pink angle poised lamp for the living room. And that just sits onto that post. There we go. You can read your magazines at night now. Another wall piece with a family portrait. Look, there's little Liz and she's on the drums. And this next sticker is going to be the start of our bathroom piece. So again, more pink details on tops of those walls. Yeah, make sure, you, make sure your blocks are stuck down properly. That's not a very good job from me. We've got the start of our bathroom. There goes the tap and we have a little brush there. And a green and a blue bottle. And a shower. And we are making a toilet. Ta -da! <laughs> Every house needs a toilet, of course. Now this is going to be our shower head. So simple. Pop it into place. Ta -da! One bathroom. And just finishing off the front with an archway and some more pink pieces. Now this long pink panel that is meant to overlap don't worry 
we are adding navy blue roof pieces and make sure that overlaps as well and adding in another curved window. Oh, got that piece in the wrong place, pop it in the right place, there we go. And an archway over the top of the curved window. And more navy tiles. So Lego are getting very eco-friendly and they have given Andrea's family house solar panels. Actually they've given them two solar panels. Oh, make sure those tiles are in the right place. And the roof is topped off with a little star detail. There we go! And we don't have a fireplace, but we seem to have a chimney. Every house has got to have a chimney, hasn't it? There we go, we have, we have a first floor! Ta-da! Oh, it's looking like a house already. Should we make the rest of it? Okay, so this is going to be the start of Andrea and little Liz's bedroom. And we're just building out the window piece here and where their bunk beds are going to go. And there are the legs for the bunk beds. And building out another window, again with lots and lots of flowers on. And build that wall up just so Liz doesn't fall out the window. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe I said that. Uh, On to another wall piece and this is all of Andrea and Liz's little, piece, little bits and pieces and the other side of the bathroom. And building up that wall and we have an opening window. Not sure that's a great idea next to a bunk bed, but there we go. Um, building up the wall again with more white and pink and light blue pieces. Now this is going to be the start of their bunk beds and I'm guessing the bottom bunk is going to be Liz's. So she has teal and yellow covers. Now this bed, I thought it was a little bit wonky. I yeah, really struggled to get it in actually. Make sure it's squashed down properly. There we go. Now we're making Andrea's bed. And she has yellow and bright pink covers. You only get one sticker actually for these covers rather than two. Oh, this little piece, this, oh, frustrated me. Take the wall out, stick it on. They're fiddly little things. There's not a lot, not a lot of room to manoeuvre there. I love the detailing on this model. They don't give you a staircase, but they give you a ladder to get into the bunk beds. <laughs> But I do love that detail, I think it's awesome. Building up the wall there. Now this is going to be Andrea and Liz's chest of drawers. And on top, we have a little stud that holds, I think it might be a magazine. It might be a record actually. Building that wall up just a little bit more. And this is actually going to be an outside wall. There's another opening window. And topping it off with some pink pieces. And here's a little bedtime story, but it's not just any bedtime story, it's a musical bedtime story. So cute, Andrea could read little Liz bedtime stories at night. There we go, one bedroom. Now we have bright pink shutters to add on. I'm really sorry you have to watch me do all four of them. There are so many stickers in this set. It's awesome, but they're all beautiful and shiny and bright. And we're building out the roof line here, again with more navy blue and pink. And of course, Andrea's bedroom wouldn't be complete without a record. Do you think it's one of her records? Or maybe it's one of her mum's records. And more navy blue tiles. And the same as on the other window pieces, we have this star detail. And top it off with some navy tiles. There we go, one bedroom. Aha, uh -huh, but a bedroom wouldn't be complete without an angle poise reading lamp. There we go, Andrea, you can read your books at night. 
and another solar panel. There we go, maximising the sunlight so they get lots of electricity. And a balcony. Do you think they just climb out the window and go on the balcony? And up we go, and on it goes. In goes the book that fell out earlier. <gasps> Look, one finished complete house with a garage and an inside outside kitchen, bedroom, living room. <gasps> I love it. I think it's beautiful. In comes the heart shaped swimming pool and that Lilo for Stephanie, Andrea, Donna, Martin, and little Liz. And the pink bird. Welcome home, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have plenty more videos coming up and I look forward to seeing you soon.